that way. He's also faced questions about whether a barn on his family's Flathead Valley property is correctly appraised for tax purposes. The barn has been remodeled to apartments, but is still classified as a barn, taxed at a slightly lower level than commercial property. Quist and his wife also didn't report any rental income on their 2016 federal tax return. Quist says the rental income goes to his daughter, Halliday, who is the legal owner of the nine-acre property near Creston. The state revenue officials say they'll be checking if the barn is assessed properly, but that the Quists were under no legal obligation to report any changes. Quist says he's done nothing wrong and that the attack is just part of his opponent's campaign to discredit him. Their goal is to silence my voice, and so they're willing to say anything, you know, to uh, to make this, uh, you know, make this you, but I think that, you know, the people that know me understand that, that, uh, that that's not who I am. But what about the people who don't know Quist? Carroll College political scientist Jeremy Johnson says damaging information on a candidate can hurt their standing among less informed voters. 